Apple's new AR VR headset, the Apple Vision Pro, already has an interesting vulnerability with a working exploit. The vulnerability is called Gazeploit, and it allows an attacker to infer what a victim is typing on their virtual keyboard based on their eye movements of the person wearing the headset. So Apple has this technology called Persona that allows for other people in a virtual call or online with you to see your face without the headset on when you're in virtual reality or augmented reality. Apple's description of Persona says it's a dynamic, natural representation of your face and hand movements that allows others to see you while you're using Apple Visions Pro for FaceTime and other video conferencing apps. So basically this technology just removes your headset in real time so people can see you without some massive goggles on your head when you're in a video call with them. So this technology is recreating your face in real time and it's even recreating the eye movements in your headset and it's displaying that to the other people that are in whatever video call platform that you're using. And then another technology that's used in the headset is something called gaze controlled text entry, which allows you to pull up a virtual keyboard and type on that keyboard, depending on the keys that you're looking at for a certain amount of time. So if we combine the persona technology and the gaze controlled text entry technology, we potentially have this vulnerability that can be abused. So the vulnerability is exploited like this. If a victim is using persona and is using a keyboard with gaze controlled text entry technology, an attacker could record the victim's face and accurately deduce what the victim is typing on their keyboard just by analyzing their eye movements. We're gonna take a look at a quick video that demonstrates this vulnerability. So here we have a hypothetical situation where an attacker is looking at a victim's persona, which is seen in the top left as they type on their virtual keyboard. And in the top right, we see what the attacker was deducing what was typed based on what was captured after recording the persona's eye movement. And as you can see, it's fairly accurate in determining what the victim is typing based on the persona's face and eye movement. A quote from the security researchers that found this vulnerability, the attack is accomplished by means of a supervised learning model trained on persona recordings, eye aspect ratio, and eye gaze estimation to differentiate between typing sessions and other VR related activities. Basically what this is saying is that the attacker can use machine learning to accurately determine when a person is typing and what they are typing based on many recordings of people's personas. In the subsequent step, the gaze estimation directions on the virtual keyboard are mapped to specific keys in order to determine the potential keystrokes in a manner such that it also takes into account the keyboard's location in the virtual space. By remotely capturing and analyzing the virtual avatar video, an attacker can reconstruct the typed keys. So looking at this vulnerability and how it can be exploited in the wild, obviously this vulnerability can be very dangerous if you're typing sensitive information using gaze-controlled text entry while on some sort of video call with a persona. And right now, this situation seems very niche and unlikely, but in the future, a vulnerability like this could be a very real and viable attack if things like the metaverse really do come to fruition. If AR and VR technology becomes mainstream in the future, there will indefinitely be more vulnerabilities like this that will exploit these new technologies, and security professionals will have to learn how to defend against them. Thankfully, this vulnerability was patched in Vision OS 1.3, which was released back in July 29th, 2024. And the way Apple decided to patch this vulnerability was to suspend Persona when a virtual keyboard is active. So basically, it sounds like it just freezes your face whenever you're typing something on a video call now, which I do think is a good solution for preventing similar vulnerabilities like this happening in the future. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, I know it was a quick one. I just thought this was an interesting vulnerability to talk about, considering how much of a buzzword the metaverse is in AR and VR becoming more mainstream. It'll be interesting to see how this technology evolves in the future and the type of vulnerabilities and attacks and exploits that will come around this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you found this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more cybersecurity news breakdowns and other ethical hacking content. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.